I hope you guys are all having an exceptional day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad fuel pump. The purpose of the fuel pump is to transfer fuel from the fuel tank into the injectors, where they spray into the engine to mix with air and spark to create combustion. For most cars, the fuel pump will be located inside the gas tank. The first symptom of a bad fuel pump is having your check engine light on. You might get a P0087 or a P0190, both having to do with lack of fuel pressure. Now these codes are only triggered if your car has a fuel pressure sensor. Your car might not even have one. So you won't see these codes, but you might see a P0171 for a lean condition, meaning there's more air than fuel ratio in the combustion process. A lean condition is also known to cause multiple misfires, so you might get this code as well. Now you can read these codes by going to the parts store near you, and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now you can still have a faulty fuel pump with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom you might be experiencing is a crank but no start. You hear the crank? meaning the starter is working properly to turn the engine, but it won't do anything because there isn't fuel being pressurized in the system due to a defective fuel pump. In order for a car to start, it needs air, fuel, and spark to start the combustion process. The third symptom is a long crank before starting. Now this can happen if your fuel pump is not completely dead yet, but starting to go bad. The fuel pump can start getting weaker, making the fuel transfer take longer to pressurize the system, resulting in a longer crank before startup. The fourth symptom is a loss of power. Whenever you press down on the gas pedal to increase speed, you seem to not go as fast as you used to. Maybe at times it feels like your engine is stuttering to increase speed. The reason for this is due to the lack of pressurized fuel coming from the fuel pump. Whenever the pedal is pressed down, the throttle plate opens up and brings in more air. And when more air is increased, the ECM should be adding more fuel. The problem is that a weak fuel pump will fail to keep up with the demand of air, leaving you with a lean condition, which is why you're getting a loss of power. The fifth symptom is your engine stalling. You might be driving on the highway and your engine randomly turns off. Or you could be like me in the intersection, having your car turn off right in the middle and having an awkward staring contest. Thankfully the car turned back on and I went on my way. The reason for this is happening due to the lack of fuel being pressurized into the engine. Now before concluding the fuel pump is the issue, always start with the basics. Check to see if the fuel pump fuse and the relay are good. A way that can help you better diagnose to see if it's the fuel pump is to buy a fuel pressure gauge to measure the fuel pressure. I'll leave it in the description below. Sweet, we just learned symptoms of a bad fuel pump. If you want to see more videos like this, check out the Auto Symptoms playlist, like and subscribe, so I can see you in the next video.